Hello dudes, welcome to my channel Recollection. Okay, with you Mr. Tim again guys. And as you see, weather is great and sun shines, but it is a little bit hot for me and these days I'm keeping fast and that's why I've decided to, to make video as usual uh, in my studio, you know. It's like in my studio, it's my room. Uh, okay guys, uh, today's topic about future simple, uh, but before starting my uh, video, I just wanted to mention one thing, it's really important for me and I just want to say to all uh, my followers and to those people who are watching my videos and they are trying to write some comments, they are trying to correct me, thank you guys, I do appreciate your support and your help, keep it up. Okay guys, uh, and uh, you know, uh, actually these days I'm oozing with ideas, but unfortunately I don't have uh, enough opportunity to, to make uh, the, the, those kind of videos, but I'll I'll try to do them in a in the near future, okay, guys. And you know, uh, more and more, it's becoming really, uh, how can I say, really easy for me. And uh, more and more, making videos like uh, shooting fish in a barrel. You know, uh, that's why you know uh, today I just decided to make video about uh, as usual grammar uh, because uh, uh, you know. Uh, I just want to repeat a lot of uh, rules of grammar and I try to make video about grammar and you know it forced me to speak and also it forced me to remember about those kind of rules. Thank you for watching my videos and we have to start. Guys, as I pointed before today's topic, future simple and we will talk about will. Okay, when we use will, okay, let's start guys, we use will when we talk about some circumstances where we decide to do something at the time of speaking, yeah, it's like a suddenly making decisions at the time of speaking, okay, let's uh, give example, okay, you just forgot to close the door, and you, you know it's really cold and it's winter and uh, you have to go and you just shut it and suddenly you just remember that you forgot to uh, close that door and you you can say that uh, i'll go and shut it you know uh, your action will be in the future and you didn't know about not closing the door and you just uh, you have to say that you have to use will in such situation and the second example is, for example, you inv invited your friends to your home and they came and uh, anyway, you have to offer something for them and you can say, what would you like to drink? And one of them said, I'll have a lemonade or uh, another one said, I'll have a tea. You know, uh, it happened at the time of speaking and they decided to do something at the time of speaking they didn't know that you uh, offered to them something uh, and that's why they use will and also it will be in the future you have to go to your, your kitchen and you have to prepare for them lemonade or tea and then you will carry on uh, lemonade and tea for them okay and also you know uh, uh, we do not use will in a situation when we talk about someone's arrangements, plans. Uh, it's about uh, present continuous. For example, I can't meet you tomorrow because my parents is coming back to home. Because it's like a present continuous and it was your like a plan. You decided to not meet the person and you cannot use will in such situation. It's about present continuous, uh, it's not about future, it's like about plan of people. Okay, and you know, uh, will have negative form, will not, or you can just say won't. It's like a short form of will not. And for example, native speaker speakers use will want because uh, it is more like a, how can I say, shorter, and that's why they try to use uh, want. Okay, and uh, you know, uh, for example, there is uh, some expressions which is related to will. For example, I think 
I will not or I think I I don't think I will for example yeah for example you can say uh, I think uh, I I'll be at home this afternoon because I'm really tired or you can say I don't think that I will go out because I just want to uh, watch TV maybe yes this kind guys hey you know uh, we use will when we talk about this situation we, we often use will in this kind of situations first uh, offering to do something and second one is agreeing or refusing to do something third one is promising to do something and last one first one is uh, asking to do something first one offering to do something okay uh, that box looks heavy I'll help to you with it you just saw your friend and your friend like is uh, carrying heavy box and you said I'll help to you with it okay and agreeing and refusing uh, you know that book that I lent to you can I have it back and your uh, your friend answered of course I'll bring it back to you this afternoon and for refusing uh, we can use okay uh, I've asked John to help to me and he won't for example you ask it your friend to help to you and uh, he will not I mean uh, just he don't didn't want to help to you and uh, he will not uh, help to you in the future okay and uh, promising to do something for example you can say thank you for lending uh, money for me I'll pay it back in a several days maybe and also asking to do something uh, when we talk about asking to do something we use will for example will you shut the door and second one is uh, will you be quiet like this guys and please use all of these rules in your speaking and every time we use will and it's really useful uh, to use uh, like a uh, different uh, uh, tenses because anyway we have to speak about different tenses all the time not only about present simple or present continuous that's why guys be active and speaking and you know i made this video i just repeated to make uh, this video because it was really hard to explain to you and uh, sometimes i made a lot of mistakes and please guys uh, just estimate my speaking estimate my video thank you for watching and be with me all the time guys and i'll try to be uh, how can i say uh, more different more colorful colorful and i'll try to make videos uh, every day uh, actually it's impossible okay guys thank you for, for watching me